What is going on, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another edition of the Swoo Coaches Show. I'm your host, Sawyer Price, and with me today is Coach Coy Atkins, head, head softball coach. How you doing, Coach? Good, Sawyer. Glad to be here with you. Yes, sir. Well, thank you for joining me. First off, how was your summer? Uh, it was good. It was very busy out on the road, uh, you know, trying to find some, some more warrior softball players. Yes, sir. So. Absolutely. A lot, lot of recruiting, a lot of uh, recruiting type camps and stuff. So. Well, there you go. I want to talk about last year and how, okay. how well you guys did. Came off of a 22 and 20 record, 11 and 9 in conference, right. and you guys made it to the conference tournament for the first time in uh, school history. Not only right. that, but you guys made it to the championship game. Right. It was uh, it was definitely rewarding. I think uh, we really played the second half of the season well. I think our last 20 games we finished 14 and 6. Kind of just jailed as a team, uh, and you know, there's many aspects, many pieces to a team, but a lot of really individual stepped up. But the thing I was most proud of is just kind of how that group last year's really solidified a culture for the program. Yes, sir. Yeah. And, you know, solidifying the culture, you had a freshman who stepped up big time last year in Lydia Clanton. She was named, you know, Conference Carolina's Freshman Player of the Year, as well as named to the uh, all-conference first team as a second baseman. Right. Yeah. Lydia had a really good year, hit, you know, right at 400. Uh, you know, a lot of extra base hits, doubles and home runs, RBIs, uh, was definitely a, you know, a real key for us offensively. So, uh, you know, just we, we really had four freshmen last year that played significant. And, uh, you know, all four of them really did a good job as far as us achieving what we achieved. But it was just good to see, you know, us get some recognition from other people in the conference. Yeah, no doubt about that. And like you said about the other four freshmen you had, well, not the freshmen, but Mimi Newton, she stepped up and she also made – um, all-conference first team right. as a utility player, which is pretty cool. And then you had Addie Nugent, who mm -hmm. also made uh, second team all-conference as an outfielder. So take me through how those kind of roles are helping you out. Well, uh, last year, Megan knew kind of, she was really uh, like our backup catcher. So she caught, uh, you know, game two of well, the conference doubleheaders. And game one, she usually DH, so that's why we were able to kind of nominate her as a utility player. But uh, she's really a catcher. She's going to be our starting catcher this year, and unless something changes, uh, she's a starting catcher right now. Uh, but just I, she got nominated, or she got voted on that, just simply because of, of the year she had offensively. Hit around 340, I think. Uh, but anyway, uh, yeah, very solid year. And then Addie Nugent, Addie started the year on the injured list from a concussion, so uh, she really only got to play like the last 30 games of the year, and. And when she started playing, she came out on fire and really, really yeah. finished the year like that. Addie had kind of always been, you know, in softball it's called a slapper, where they kind of move their feet in the batter's box and, yeah, and really sure. just kind of touch and go stuff. And when she got here as a freshman, she really started working on her swing, just swinging away. And, uh, again, Addie was another kid that hit in the mid threes uh, with several extra base hits. So, and, and played a really good defensive right and center field for us. Well, awesome. Uh, you guys have started fall practices so far as a right. team. How's that going so far? Uh, it's going really good. You know, we've got seven kind of new players in the program. Well, s six new players, but seven players that are going to be new on our team. Uh, so really kind of took it slow at the beginning, just really, you know, fundamental development work, trying to go back and emphasize some of those things. Uh, you know, I thought that I didn't do a very good job last year teaching, so didn't want to assume anybody knew anything, so we've really broke a lot of stuff down. As you know, we're kind of seeing the uh, the benefits of that now. A lot less arm injuries. Uh, we haven't hit as much as we probably have in the past, but yes, we're starting to do that now. So uh, the thing I see about this team that probably differs from the last two teams I've had here is just we're so much more athletic. So uh, it's it's going to be fun to watch them compete with each other, and then we'll put the best team out there in February. Yes, sir. So you're talking about how you got a fairly young team bringing in seven, or technically seven, new athletes. Right. How are you going to look to these younger players as, as what you did last year? Well, in you know, very first meeting, we told them that this was a new team and that you know, last year to this team really it, it means nothing as far as what you can accomplish. So we're really just hoping to build off of it and, and do something better and just keep going. But I think the role of the younger players differs a little bit because I think uh, you know, the freshmen last year were uh, – you know, we weren't coming off of a very good year, so they were, uh, you know, they were really like leaned upon heavily to produce. Yes, I don't. I think this year, if, if our freshmen do great, but we know that we're in a much better situation as a program where we don't have to count on freshmen. Yeah. Uh, but again, like I say, I, th I think we have some that that will get in there and fight for some major playing time, and and will come through. 
Well, that's awesome. Last thing I want to talk about is academics. You know, Callie Bellinger named the uh, Elite 23 winner. How right. does that make you feel as a coach? Well, I mean, our whole our whole softball team, uh, you know, they're they're really good students, and that's one thing that we talk about three things, uh, and academics being being one of them. We talk about impacting lives that you know kind of show where our relationship with Christ is. Uh, academic excellence and then competing for championships and I felt like last year we we really accomplished all three and uh you know our whole team GPA was right around a three five I believe three four nine uh Callie made uh all A's and she was the uh, best student athlete in the whole conference as a softball player so that's that's just really special I think anytime you can win a major award like that yeah no doubt uh, about that. you know it's something that 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 athlete can take with them for the rest of their lives but it's also you know, a, a great recruiting tool for your program because anytime you have parents on campus, they, they want to hear about things other than softball. And I think we can show them, hey, we're serious about, you know, we, we try to make good grades around here. Then uh, that kind of just solidifies our statement. Yes, sir. Absolutely. Well, thank you again, Coach, for joining me on today's show. We wish you the best of luck for the rest of the fall and in the spring. Yeah. There you have it, folks. Thank you for joining me on today's edition of The Coach's Show. We'll see you next time.